going to wrap up our warrior week here at Live Whole. Say that three times fast. Blah, blah. Anyways, we're going to finish it off with one of the most challenging postures in yoga and definitely the most challenging of the warrior series, warrior three. This requires incredible focus, control, and balance. So be kind to yourself, be gentle. Remember, you're going to probably fall over. I will. I've done it. it. Happens all the time. You know, we're just working towards it. So there's no ultimate goal here to be achieved. We're just working towards strength, stability, all the good stuff. Let's get started. You're going to come and stand on one leg. Doesn't matter which one, because we are gonna switch sides. I know you have a favorite side. This is my favorite side, so I'm gonna show you my good side first, and then my bad, not so good side. And again, before we get started, pull up out of that back hip. So you don't wanna be sitting down in this hip. You don't wanna be dropping. Yeah, you're gonna lift up as we push and energize the leg. Like I've said before, you can peel the toes back and really feel your foot grounded, pushing away the earth, lifting up tall. Good, lift up out of the hips, tall spine. Now point this straight leg behind you, really strong. Kind of be on the balls of the toe, the ball of the foot or the toes here. But what I really want you to focus on is a strong back leg. This is gonna help you with your balance. As we tilt our weight forward, our shoulders move down into our warrior three. Now you can soften that front leg, the standing leg. That's gonna help. Chin is down, you're looking about mm, a foot or two in front of you at a point on the floor, cultivating your focus. Now look at this back leg, I don't want it here. Trust me, it's gonna help you if you strengthen it, energize that back thigh and push through the back of the heel. Whoops, see the wobbling? Watch it roll to the outer edge of that standing um, foot. Try to really push down through the big toe pad and really strengthen the inner thigh more than, again, sitting in that hip. Now you can keep the hands on the thigh, keep moving lengthwise through the top of the head, out the back heel, or you can bring the hands to your heart center, breathe, and bring it up. Wow, really challenging guys, shake it out, we're going to move to the other side. And that was my good side, yeah, you're going to wobble, it's okay. Remember, we're working towards the goal, not expecting to be there right away. Other foot, front. Good. Remember, straighten that back leg. You want to make sure it doesn't roll out. The hips try to stay as square as possible, like we showed you in Warrior One. I'm going to soften my standing knee. I'm going to hinge out over my hips, and then I'm just going to start to bring more and more weight to my front leg. Whoa. Yeah, so my inner thighs could use a little bit of strength, a little bit of work, so I'm really concentrating on drawing up and in the inner thigh. Lifting my navel back and in. Broadening my collarbones, relaxing my neck and my chin down. Now flexing, oh, there we go, that helped me. Soon as I flexed that back foot, pulled the toes back, I found a little more stability. Good, again, hands can rest on that thigh until you cultivate the strength to bring them off. Shoulders roll onto the back. Maybe bring the leg a little higher, chest a little lower. If you like, try airplane arms. Keep the shoulders on the back. Wow. Do you feel that standing leg work? So much balance. We're gonna do one more to this side. I'm gonna give you a couple more arm variations. Of course, I'm cheating to my good side. Maybe we'll do both sides, even it out. Ugh, it's tough, isn't it? Good. Think of your goals. Think of being stronger, more balanced, more focused, more in tune with your body. Good, so first, just come up tall. Even on this one, let's bring the hands up. Shoulder blades engaged on the back. Do you see my ribs? I'm just going to draw them back and in. Core strength as I soften the front knee. Work to the midline of the body. So bring that lifted leg more in towards you. Squeeze the inner thigh of the standing leg. So this isn't, this is a possibility for me on this side, these arms, this arm variation. It may not be on the other side, which is totally fine. If you want, you can try to bend the knee more. It's okay to do that. 
What you don't want to do is lock that knee. You want to straighten it by engaging your quad, lifting the kneecap up. Good. And if your arms are over your head, pull away. So pull your fingertips away from your heel, pull the heel back. Press through the standing leg to come up. Woo! Breathe. Yeah, that heart rate's gonna get up there. It's almost like you go into fight or flight mode. Try to keep that breath calm and steady. Let's do it one more side to the bad side. Or it might be your good side. So what's gonna help me is just making sure I set it up right. Taking a deep breath. I'm right there with you. Okay, I'm gonna soften my right knee. This hand variation, I'm gonna bring my hands behind my back, opening my chest, drawing my tail long, lifting my navel, and I'm going for it. You ready? Let's go for it. Draw that lifted leg to the midline of the body, push out the back heel, chin down, core in. How you doing? I'm breathing, I'm focusing. Whoa. Let's slowly bring this side up. Did I cheat that? Did I do shorter on the bad side? You guys did a great job. That wraps up our warrior week. You're looking so strong. Keep it going. Send in those videos of your warriors and I'll see you next time.